Hey everybody. Uh, tonight we're going to start out by looking at my Garami tank here, but we will probably make our way around the room a little bit and look at a few different tanks. Uh, I just wanted to share some thoughts about the hobby of fish keeping. And I use the word hobby specifically. I have a lot of people ask me, um, you know, don't you ever get overwhelmed with all the tanks you have? And don't you get tired of doing water changes? And I'm not going to lie. You know, it's not always fun doing all that kind of stuff. It does become a little bit uh, like a chore from time to time. But for the most part, the answer is no. I don't mind doing it at all because it's all part of the hobby of keeping fish. And I've always thought about other hobbies. I've always likened it to, say, someone who builds models uh, or even someone who simply collects stamps. The fun of that isn't looking at the model on the shelf after you've built it or looking at stamps in the book. It's the doing part of it. It's the putting the model together. It's the getting the new package of stamps in the mail and lining them all up and getting your book out. And, you know, it's the activity part of keeping stamps. It's the activity part of building models or putting puzzles together, doing crosswords or fishing. Um, you know, looking at the, the trophy fish on your wall or the pictures of your fish or whatever, that's all well and good. But going fishing is the fun part of it. And keeping fish for me is the same way. It's a hobby. It's not, I don't know, it's not the same as my other pets. I have cats and I have a dog and I don't consider them hobbies. I consider them pets. You know, um, keeping fish to me is a little different than that. I suppose technically you could say these are my pets. They are live animals under my care. But again, I just sort of think of keeping fish as more of a hobby and because it's a hobby, I think about it as my activity. Now, the real reason I wanted to talk about that is because I totally understand when you first get into fish keeping and you're early on, you really do want to do stuff all the time. I'm still subject to that. As silly as it may sound, uh, on a day like today, for example, it was a rainy day, I was unable to work, so I've basically been sitting around the house all day and I've not spent much time in here in the fish room at all. I've been just kind of deliberately avoiding hanging out in the fish room because what happens is I'll sit down for five minutes and I'll look around and before you know it, I'm doing stuff. I'm cleaning glass, I'm doing water changes, I'm feeding tanks. Um, you know, early on, that was problematic. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't understand that doing massive water changes every other day could be detrimental. It could be okay. It depends on your tank. You know, I just, I didn't realize that a lot of the stuff I was doing in a lot of cases was disrupting my tank more than it was, you know, maintaining it. And while in all of my eagerness, I thought I was doing a great job and keeping on top of my tanks, what I was really doing was preventing them from ever finally settling in and balancing out. Uh, I just tinkered with them too much. So it's actually kind of a relief for me to have incorporated shooting video and taking photos. Um, I do post a lot of photography on Google+. Plus. If you don't already follow me on there, uh, you might want to look me up. I do a lot of pictures and GIFs and stuff like that of my fish, little short videos that never make it to my YouTube channel. And that's all part of the hobby for me. So instead of coming in here and messing around with my fish tanks, I can come in here and just shoot some video and chat or, you know, do whatever. I can incorporate shooting video into the work I'm doing. So a simple water change now becomes a project and I'm shooting videos in various segments and then I've got all the activity of, you know, editing the video and putting it together and that all becomes part of the hobby. I actually looked up the word hobby before I started shooting this just so I, would, you know, would know what it says and I would find out I wasn't completely off base or something. And it actually does say that it is an activity that one performs in one spare time for pleasure. You know, again, that doesn't really apply to my cats or my dog. Those are like members of my family. That's not something I do in my spare time for pleasure. My fish is, you know, I've got some free time. I want to come down here and enjoy my fish. That's an activity I do in my spare time for pleasure, just like going fishing or collecting stamps or, you know, so... 
again, I, I'm not really, there's no point to this really. I'm just kind of airing my thoughts on the idea of the hobby. The reason it always comes up is just because I get asked questions a lot about all of the stuff I have to do with tending to all these fish and keeping track of everybody and making sure everybody gets fed. And, you know, again, the answer is no, I don't mind doing this at all. In fact, I have to sort of keep myself from doing too much of it because I can easily overfeed my fish. I can over-maintain the tank. You know, I can do too frequent water changes, too large water changes. Uh, when I first got started in fish keeping, uh, I, did, I did all kinds of stuff. I mean, I was crazy with the uh, setting up tanks and building new tanks, and I was buying 10-gallon tanks every other day, it seemed like, and, you know, I had tanks up and running everywhere, and I was constantly moving fish around and changing the decor around and taking fish back to the store and getting new fish. Um, I just went nuts with it for a couple of years, and I really had a lot of fun. It was awesome. I learned a ton of stuff. But it was always the activity of it, and it always struck me as odd when people said, like, wow, don't, you know, isn't that overwhelming? Like, it, no, it's not, you know. I will say that my hobby of gardening did get a little better of me when we were younger and moved out here. You know, we very enthusiastically planted lots of gardens, and now that we're older and, you know, the joints ache, and it's just been years of taking care of the same you know, property, we, you know, the gardens have become a bit much out in the yard, and someday I'm sure, you know, this might become problematic having all these fish and all these tanks to take care of and manage, but for now, it's not. Uh, I will also offer a word of warning if you're new to the hobby and you're all excited and enthusiastic and you realize that you can have more than one tank and you go out and you start buying you know little 10 gallon tanks and and you get your stuff set up with you know various things and you want to try a brackish tank and then you've got a you know a tank that's half land half water and you've got crabs in it and like me i wanted one of everything i wanted to experiment with all the different fish and all the different types of habitats you could set up for them and build for them but you can burn yourself out. You know, a lot of people do that. A lot of people get into fish and they get really into fish and they get really excited about them. And three years later, they're getting rid of all their stuff and they're selling off their tank and they're just tired of it. They're done. You know, they've turned it into a job. They've turned it into a chore that they no longer enjoy. So pace yourself. You know, uh, you, you can burn yourself out pretty quickly on keeping fish if you don't just, you know, relax and enjoy it. Don't make it a job for yourself. So far, I haven't. Um, I have people suggest to me, you know, oh, you should do this and you should, no, no, not really. You know, I don't, I'm kind of done. I don't think I want to really set up any more tanks and make it any bigger or expand it any further. I don't want to reduce the size of it again I'm, I'm very happy with my fish room i like the way it looks i like the fact that i've got like the full surround of tanks and everything but i'm done that's that's what i wanted when i started keeping fish a long time ago um you know i sort of joked about one day i could imagine myself sitting in a room surrounded by fish tanks and about three years later i was doing just that and it's awesome. I love it. It's, you know, it's, it's not something I've burned out on at all. I'm always learning new stuff. It's a hobby. It's, it's a hobby for life for me. It's just, you know, I can always keep learning stuff and learning new things. And it, it's just, it's a great hobby. It really is. I really like it a lot. But all in all, that's what it is. It's a hobby. It's an activity I do in my spare time because I enjoy it. So, once again, to answer the question of does this, you know, get old and how do I keep it? It's my hobby. I enjoy it. I do this because it's fun. So, there you go. That was a little sort of around the world update. While I didn't actually really talk about any of the tanks we looked at. Uh, I am still treating my poor little angelfish here. He has still not moved his bowels as far as I can tell. I did do a big water change on this tank this evening and i got the epsom salts that were in the tank out so tomorrow my daphne will arrive i will start feeding them that and if by tomorrow afternoon i haven't really seen any change then we'll probably do a epsom salts bath directly for him i'll make it up in a bucket and i'll make it a higher concentration and i'll treat him specifically for about an hour and we will see what happens from there so once again, in this case, all part of the hobby, but this is not part of the hobby that I enjoy doing because I have a sick fish and I now have to medicate it. But 
it also means I have to learn about medicating it and I have to understand what's going on and it's all new experiences for me. I continue to learn and grow in this hobby with each day and with each new experience. It's always more stuff and that's why it just never gets old. It's always new experiences for me. So I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on. If anybody ever asks you if you ever get tired of doing water changes and whatnot, just explain to them that that's why you do it. That's the fun part. It's the hobby. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, if nothing else, you'll want to keep up with the progress of my angelfish here. So again, thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you real soon on the next one.